New Zealand has been highlighted as a tax haven for foreign companies in a huge leak of confidential documents released today. Known as the Panama Papers, the leak involves 11.5 million records from the Panamanian law firm Mossack Fonseca. The, de the documents uh, show how the firm helped clients launder money, dodge sanctions and evade tax. Among those implicated, close associates of Russian President Vladimir Putin, football superstar Lionel Messi and Iceland's Prime Minister, who's facing calls for a snap election. And the money trail leads to New Zealand. The closest adviser to Malta's Prime Minister and the country's energy minister are revealed to have secret trusts here called Rotorua and Haast. All this raises serious questions for our government and political editor Patrick Gower went looking for answers. Panama City, Central America, home to the law firm that's subject of a mega leak shaking the world, Mossack Fonseca. Vladimir Putin, Jackie Chan and the King of Saudi Arabia, just a few of the big names alleged to have used the firm to funnel money. And New Zealand is caught up in it too through a political scandal in Malta. John Key seen here meeting Malta's Prime Minister Joseph Muscat last year and the leak implicating two political figures close to Muscat. I don't know all the details, but I don't think it's embarrassing. Here's the trail as reported. The Maltese political figures Conrad Mitzi and Keith Schumbri used Panama's Mossack Fonseca law firm, which sets up in New Zealand the Orion Trust New Zealand Limited and provides them with the Rotorua Trust and the Haas Trust. Why do they want the Rotorua and Haas Trust, do you think? Oh, I have no idea yet. The Kiwi link is Roger Thompson. The accountant and lawyer wasn't at home or at work today, but his firm, Bentley's, provided a statement saying it always complied with relevant laws, including anti-money laundering and tax laws. The last thing we need is a reputation as a place to, you know, for dodgy dealings and sending your ill-gotten gains. New Zealand has had the same tax laws when it comes to trust since 1988. New Zealand also had a review undertaken by the OECD in 2013 and they gave New Zealand a clean bill of health. New Zealand's tax loophole works like this. There are 10 to 15,000 offshore trusts based here. They allow non-residents to pay zero tax in New Zealand if they don't conduct taxable activities here. That means the money in a trust is safe from tax, what some people would call a tax haven. We've got this um, nasty little foreign trust regime that um, is actually, um, it's not, not really the, the best thing uh, to be leading the news. And a Mexican link has emerged too, the leak showing a major Mexican businessman lining up trusts here. People may have trusts registered all over the show, some of which may be in New Zealand. Panama, Malta, Mexico, Rotorua and Haast, all landmarks in a global tax scandal. Patrick joins us now. Patrick, what will these revelations do for our international reputation? Well, not that much if the international media so far is anything to go by. In Malta, for instance, New Zealand being referred to as the Fort Knox of asset protection. And back in 2013, actually, the government was warned that this might happen by none other than the Inland Revenue Department. Inland Revenue giving official advice that New Zealand was at reputational risk uh, because of these tax loopholes. Now, in terms of other warnings from the Inland Revenue, a specific one to any New Zealanders, any New Zealand citizens, New Zealand taxpayers who may have been using this law firm, Inland Revenue is working with its international partners to identify them. Patrick, thank you.